And we are back on one microphone, but with three people. Now, before either of you speak, I need to establish one thing. Hi, my name is Julius. This is the fourth chapter of Ignore This Podcast. And these series of podcasts have uh, undoubtedly have turned into kind of interview podcasts where I get to know the people on it. But this time I have two other people on it with me. Who is it? Who am I with? That would be Jacob. And I would be Lynn. <laughs> I'm looking at him to speak. And I know. Well, my like, bridge is just right. easier for me, me, I guess. I think you're... <laughs> for a second there, people were like, it's only one person along with Julius. <laughs> I'm with Jacob. Hello. And Lynn. Hello. How are you guys doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. It's hot today. It's a fucking... It's a hot day. It's a hot day. It's like... I don't know. It's almost 100, kind of. And I don't know. It hasn't... It hasn't reached 100 in LA in a while, honestly. I'm quite discheesed today. I'm quite discheesed. <laughs> it, was it last year that it got 100 in California? Like during the summer? I think Look, so. Look, once it, once it hits 100, it doesn't matter how, like, <laughs> it, it's 101 today. It's 109. It, it's, it's just fucking, it's too hot. It is really hot today, you know what man. I mean? But it, 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 what I hate is when it gets, oh, like, overcast and it becomes just muddy, humid. It's like it's Florida or something. Yeah, it's not very pee. No, That's not pushing no, you're not pushing P with the with the humidity, bitch. <laughs> get, get the, man, fuck this shit. I'm so, I am so upset. It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all listen to podcasts, all of us, but pretty different ones. Like you, you, I know Lynn and I have talked plenty about podcasts and which ones we listen to. We, you know, we kind of listen to the more political, quote unquote, based ones. Mm-hmm. And you just listened to nonsense. Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the bullshit. I mean, I mean, I know that. Which well, which ones do you listen to mainly, Jacob? I love the Steve-O podcast a lot. The Steve-O one from Jackass. Yeah, that one's but really good. But it's that, really that's good. That's not it bullshit is. though. No, it's good. But I love my bullshit. I, I love Vlad TV. I, I, I love Vlad TV. I love No Jumper. I mean, well, I like my people. It's just bullshit content. But you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I'm just saying maybe I like it a lot because growing up, and it makes sense. I feel like you know. Probably a lot of kids too. Probably well, not yeah. kids. People our age probably may like it too, or kids yeah. younger. Because think about it, like for us, our it makes sense. That's like TMZ or some shit. Like my aunt, my mom grew up watching like TMZ or well, mm. growing up around them. I, I saw a bunch of TMZ growing up and like, like those, drama. Yeah, those like yeah, those, yeah. Those, like bullshit shows on Bravo and stuff. Those reality <laughs> TV shows. Oh, the Housewives. Yeah, yeah. Those, those bullshit shows and stuff. So that makes sense. So like it, it's passed down, but like it's mm. it's you know for a new generation. So it's on the internet now. So yeah. it's more you know. I can watch when I want to. Yeah, they had to wait for like, you know, it was on TV and cable and stuff. So. It, it's the new radio. Yeah, you man, know, podcast. It, like, I remember Jacob and I during high school would listen to uh, the Howard Stern together, oh. Howard Stern show together. Like, just the, like, mainly the fights, <laughs> what were on YouTube. Shout about. out Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. And, uh, <laughs> and the what's the, the fucking, uh, oh. damn, who was it with the, oh, with Sharon Osbourne? Oh, oh yeah, and the <laughs> Sharon, <laughs> Posse, the Sharon <laughs> Osbourne. Same Posse. <laughs> That they were in the right. Th- I did. They, they were in the right, though. I I don't even remember what they were fighting about. Was so, did Sharon Osbourne like diss them or something? So I guess they were just fighting because Insane Clown Posse had their I don't know someone with their band. I don't know. Did they I, make fun of Ozzy? Kind of. Yeah. No, no. I guess there was a band, so there's a band called Cold uh, Chamber. Kinda. There's a band called Cold Chamber, and uh-huh. I guess they knocked them off the tour because like. They weren't selling tickets, or no one's coming to see them. So like, oh well, uh-huh. no one's coming out. Anyway, I don't know what happened. I guess, but they're I, they're they're already doing good. Anyway, they they fucked up regardless. You know, c- c- came off for no reason, which is kind of fucked up. Who inclined in inclined in insane in, 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 policy? ICP. 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 But I don't, maybe they had the reasons though. Maybe they had the reasons. Well, I just remember they they went volatile. Like yeah. they just kept on getting dirtier and dirtier with their insults. <laughs> whereas their whereas <laughs> Sharon Osbourne was just like, "Your has beens, you never were," and all that. Yeah, yeah and they were like the same tune. They didn't give a fuck. They were just there to. Fuck with her I love that episode though because they they were in the they, they stood up to like Sharon because at the time Sharon Osbourne was pretty big in music I guess. Well, she she's yeah. been pretty big like because mm-hmm. she was also on a the the talent shows. What's it called? The America's Got Talent yeah. she, on X Factor mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So she's always been you know around. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I mean Ozzy Ozzy Osbourne. I like Ozzy better. <laughs> Oz, yeah, Ozzy's oh cool. God. He's ridiculous. He's ridiculous. He I'm went. Sorry. What are you? I'm just choking on the. On the kombucha. I'm drinking kombucha. You ever see the the Molly Crew movie before? 
The Motley Crue movie? Yeah, it's on... It's is it a documentary? No, it's a, the, the Dirt. dirt the dirt, dirt, yeah. You ever seen The Dirt before? No, what is it? So it's about Motley Crue, basically, but it's all bullshit. It makes them look all cool and badass. <laughs> I mean, they're not... They, they, they have some bangers, but like... Uh, With kinda, Tommy Lee? Yeah, shout Tommy Lee, bro. Shout no, I, just, I watched the Shout Pam, out Hepatitis. The, the Pam and Tommy show I watched, and that was about it. I shout out Bucky, too. Winter Soldier. <laughs> yeah, Bucky. Yeah. <laughs> he was Tommy Lee. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just so you I know. know. Just so the woman knows. Oh, a man's playing the podcast now. I'm not kidding. <laughs> when they showed his uh, phallic device, I expected it to be like a little metal arm, you know, with a red star on it. You're talking about when he talks about his dick and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Man, that part was weird, man. I mean, I thought that was funny. <laughs> but, it, man, did you, you think that about Tommy Lee, though? He was, like, was just so high one day and just so full of hepatitis <laughs> that he decided to talk to his dick and just imagine his dick talking back to him? I never thought of it that way. That could have happened, but it's the only scene in the show like that where yeah, he talks to his dick weird scene. it was pretty funny though it, it was but i was like i don't want to see this guy i don't want so much it's like nah. wiggling around and everything mm-hmm. it's, it's voiced by some uh, comedian i forget the comedian's name but it was like a known comedian who did the voice of it i thought it was pretty funny when the show came out and stuff tommy lee said like and this is words oh i'm glad it came out and he'd be told it's a great it's a great series <laughs> What a crackhead. Really? Well, they don't, they, I mean, they don't depict him the best in that show. They like, don't really. A, at the beginning, he's a, he's like a monster at the beginning. He's kind of, of a that. dickhead, yeah. <laughs> he's all, he's all coked out and shit, <laughs> all twacked out. Hey, maybe that's what he meant. Maybe he's like, hey, don't do drugs, but, Hey, who, don't who, fuck with me. Who plays, don't steal my shit. Who plays <laughs> Bucky? Wait, what, who plays this again? The guy who plays his Bucky and Tommy Lee? Um, him? Sebastian Stan. Yeah, he could play a good tweaker. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. that's good acting. Yeah, yeah. Better than, uh. Better than, better than better than Bucky. Better than better Bucky, Bucky, yeah. yeah. I love they should have had Tommy Lee in uh in the Marvel movies. He would have drunk everyone's ass. But okay, he probably has ass <laughs> He needs a storyline. He gives people hepatitis. Disney Hank, Plus. Hank Pym goes inside him and shit, and they have a and shit. Oh my! You <laughs> know the th- what's funny about that is I saw a fan poster of the Tommy Lee series, and they put the little Disney Plus logo oh, <laughs> on no. the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> Original series with the little <laughs> the little arrow and shit. But yeah, back to the dirt though. Wow. What you what should the, check it. It's a good movie. It's pretty good. The Motley Crue. Yeah. So what is it? Is it a documentary? It's a or? biopic, basically. Oh, uh, about Motley Crue. I don't. I don't think it's one hundred percent true, though. It probably. It really isn't. It just. It's just like it glorifies them, which whatever. And so it's Motley Crue. They, they're big. They. Just, I guess. They just, yeah. I well. Well. I mean, doc. Docu. Or um, uh, biopics. They'll general. Generally, either blow things really out of proportion oh, yes, they did. or they will hold a lot back and clean it up they have, you know like the big like, the biggie movie that came out or like selena they say selena oh, yeah. too that's uh, to like chris perez wanted it uh-huh. people say to this day that they wish chris perez took the, the guy that she was uh, perez right yeah that she was married to yeah um they a lot of the fans wish that he kind of took over a lot of like the the movies and a lot of the music mm-hmm. that's coming out instead of her family because her family just kind of wants to depict her as like the most perfect person and right. he wants you know he kind of wanted a more raw yeah interpretation more honest. of her yeah. yeah more honest which you know it's not like she was a bad person like she's a monster no you know? but she was a person <laughs> yeah she was a person yeah. but you know well a great example is a. Uh, uh, the Bohemian Rhapsody film, yeah. the that Freddie movie, Mercury. That movie was really good. I believe a lot. That well, was a good movie. Well, with that movie, they get into some of the crazy elements of his life, <laughs> but they really they hold Bless back you. a lot. Like that movie was he- like on hold for, I think over a decade because originally they wanted uh, Sasha Baron Cohen to play Freddie Mercury. Oh, he was that's... he was pushing for it, you know, because oh. he looks a lot like Freddie Mercury. Yeah, he does. He's a really good actor, yeah. and he wanted to get into the really. Like the raw aspects of his that life. Would have been pretty cool. I yeah, I think it would have been, you know, great and everything. Freddie Mercury lived a crazy life. He did. He did. Yeah, he was. A, he was a great singer too. He was. He's, yeah, he's really good. Do you consider him one of the best? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, he's one of the best. Yeah. You know, you, do you, how about? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. This is a, such a meme boomerang uh, suggestion, but Whoa. Axl Rose. <laughs> Fuck no, bro. But the thing is, I saw a, a, a video recently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a TikTok. You're thinking of, uh, what's his name? Uh, Brett Michaels, dude. No, That's but all, all those fools go, yeah. <laughs> all those fools That's do. Metallica. <laughs> saw his Guns N' Roses. No, Brett Michaels, bitch no, ass. I saw this one, this video where it was this, uh, I think it was a musician, this composer. He was examining the voice of uh, Axl Rose, and he could uh, has a get pitch. a pitch yeah. that no other singer could. Like, that's some serious talent. Here's a, a specific pitch of yeah. <laughs> but but it's Oh, it goes like high. Pitch. It's like, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Such like that, I don't know. No, but Brett Michaels is more like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that turns me on. 
<laughs> John <I> insulin. <laughs> John, get my insulin. <laughs> it turns me on. You're really turning me on. <laughs> Brent Michaels. Shout out to Brent Michaels and Rock of Love please season ex- one. Yeah, please explain to the audience how much we fucking love that. <laughs> I don't love show. that show no more. You guys watch it too much. <laughs> it's I, just... I've seen. I think I've seen the pilot for Brett uh, for Rock of Love more than any other first episode of any other show. Because for those who don't know, Rock of Love is a spinoff of um, what other show? The uh, one with Flavor Flav. Flavor of Love. Flavor, Flavor of, love. of Love. It's a spinoff of that. It's it's essentially kind of like The Bachelor, but it was MTV, right? Yeah. Or VH1. Yeah, MTV. MTV or VH1. It was one of those yeah, music of those. dedicated channels, and it's The Bachelor with a rock star, hip hop star, or, or figure in music. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I don't want to say a has been, but <laughs> you know, like at that point, Brett Michaels wasn't who he was during Poison. You know what I mean? So he, 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 he kind of had to do that. But So there were a couple seasons, like four seasons, of the show called Rock of Love, where each season he's looking for his love, very much like The Bachelor, yeah. but it's more, it's trashier. The editing is more outrageous. Uh, very trashy. It's, oh my God, it's insanely trashy, but I love it. <laughs> a lot of our favorite, uh, we have a lot of quotes from there that we quote very often, such as... Uh, don't throw it at me with a good time. Don't throw it at me with a good time. Wait, hold on, let me... Let me fix that for you <laughs> disgusting I'm thinking, man, it was a good time literally just like that <laughs> cut we got it we got it <laughs> and then there's a there's a I'm about to pop <laughs> <laughs> I remember one uh, that stuck to, stuck to me where he was saying um, about one of the girls because he got all these girls on in the house and everything he's like her legs were shaven to her right up to her ass and it was real yeah. turn on. <laughs> oh like it's like she's like the most cleanly shaven like like this man was scientifically observing these fucking bitches. Yeah, like he was like a I don't know a body what's a body scientist, a fucking uh, uh, Brett a, Michaels. Yeah, Brett uh, Brett Michaels. Yeah, body <laughs> scientist Brett Michaels, PhD, I don't, I don't fucking know. See, if Miles he doesn't doc. write that in on the NCLEX during his test, he won't become a nurse. <laughs> if he doesn't write Brett Michaels for that role, it's done. To tell Brett Michaels to give us a job probably at <laughs> the fucking Rock, Rock of Love house. Right he up he his fixes call. his hair or something. Yeah, yeah he just is retarded <laughs> in that show. Well, I said he, he dresses like a, uh, a hillbilly Johnny uh, Depp. Well, it was the era, too. I, I, it was the year he wore all those fucking affliction <laughs> shirts. Like, but so, he still dresses like that. Yeah. <laughs> remember, not... remember that era, affliction, Ed Hardy? Like We were probably like seven or eight, probably. Yeah, right? yeah. I remember. God, there were so I many. Most of the cool designs, probably. There, I was like cool. ten. I was but like God, ten. I did not hold up, though. So disgusting. <laughs> no, me and Julius were like. Well, we're closer in age yeah, than you so, and Jacob yeah. are. You're, you're I, a cradle yeah. robber, remember. At that age, I was making... My mommy wasn't, you know, dressing me. So oh, I remember okay. at that point, I, w- I remember telling my mom, don't ever buy me that shit. It's <laughs> ugly. And she's like, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Here, and I'm like, don't. <laughs> don't. I would buy, like, the most awful shirt. I don't know, like... Oh, not awful shirts, but I don't know. Do you remember those, like, era of, like, weird shirts where... I don't know. It is well, well like the out. tap out or something. Like, no, like, oh, that era. Like, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think about it. Like it'd be a squirrel having like a little acorn on a stick. It's like protect your nuts or something like that. <laughs> Do you remember those yeah. shirts? Like, like, like before we knew what memes were. Yeah, yeah. those memes, those like stupid ugly ass shirts, and, like those little cracked out squirrels about giving like metaphors, testicles, saying acorns or nuts. Do you know what I'm talking about? Kind of. Yeah. 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 They were yeah. some that, that you could get at like Walmart. right? Walmart, Target, Kohl's. What else? Walmart still sells that type of shit. Yeah, it's. Do they? I, yeah, yeah. You like your nuts? The, the cats. You know, a lot of the cat on rainbows and shit. Well, unicorns. Like, they might yeah. as well sell a shirt with the cats to get pussy whipped or something. <laughs> or pussy whipped. I don't know. No, they they had some... <laughs> motherfucker, what the hell? I don't know. I was... Mm-hmm. Oh, damn, I, I just saw one the other day. Like, this kid at my job had a shirt on that was, like, my favorite genre. Or, like, my favorite... I don't fucking what, know music what it was. genre? No, I think it must have been, like, my favorite subject. Lunch. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I remember those. Yeah, yeah. Lunch. Like, Did you buy video games too and my stuff? My dad has one that's like, oh, I was raised on video games. And it has yeah. like, it's like so ugly. It has like Pac Man all big and stuff, which I mean, cute concept, you know, but it's just very cursed. Yeah, it is. I remember like in 2010, I would really wear a lot of the Hawk stuff, like the, the Tony Hawk stuff. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. I wore a lot of that when I was younger middle school. I hate I Tony Hawk. Well, well I th- I shut hate, the fuck no, up. I hate him. Oh, you, but you, you no. it's a I've, I've seen, I met him before. Well, for the record, barely. 
Kind of. I, I like Tony Hawk, but I think Christian is always the better skater. <laughs> and that's a hot take. I think Tony Hawk probably is, is the know. worst Were skater you, of all time. You gotta spend your story. You gotta, you gotta spend your story. You, t- <laughs> you gotta back it up. You have to back it up, man. Uh, well, no, I need Hassan here to help me out I mean, with the Sebastian. political aspect. No, fuck Hassan. He ain't here for you. Sebastian, come back. No, well, I, I went to the. Too. I, <laughs> I went to the Kids' Choice Awards one year, uh, the Nickelodeon oh, ones, that's and right. uh, it was at, actually held at the campus of UCLA, and it was when The Rock hosted that one year, and it was a you know the the eyebrow he did the eyebrow in front Julius of him. what I got some important questions about that what did you smell what The Rock was cooking though I, I smell it smelled green and, and sticky it was great but I, <laughs> I was outside oh, at the man. end of the show <laughs> <laughs> my swamp yeah. and then what happened was I'm chilling I, I find I don't know where my class is mm-hmm. and I'm just walking around. And then all of a sudden to my right, it's like, you know, when they say don't go on train tracks because you can't hear a train coming at you. Oh, uh-huh. It was like that where a horde of people <laughs> surrounding Tony Hawk were coming my way and Tony Hawk's not looking where he's going. He's signing autographs. And then I move, I trip, I just trip. And then all these fucking people keep moving. Adults and kids just keep moving. And Tony Hawk didn't do shit. He didn't do shit. Wow. So Tony Hawk sucks. No. Yeah, Julius, no, sucks. he was... He, so he pushed know. you? He tripped a lot of bitches? <laughs> he pushed you Yeah, he down. pushed me, yeah. He, pushed, he grabbed you by the head. He took, he took he the said, skateboard and actually fucked me up he in the head with it. <laughs> he grabbed you by the head with one arm, with one <laughs> hand. He looked at you, he turned you around slowly and said, get the fuck out of my way. And then he just threw you. Shout out to Tony Hawk, though. I love you, though. <laughs> I but love you, I Tony think Christian is always a better skater, but you had great video games. Pro Skater 3 is the best one, in my opinion. Why do you think, politics, okay, chill. Why do you think I'm so scared when I go skating with Andrew? It's because of this trauma <laughs> no, from it's Tony his, Hawk. No, no, no. It's Andrew's board. It's his board because I've been on it and... Just, oh it's just because you guys can't skate. No, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm, I'm, no. Getting the, I'm getting the itch for it again. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm okay, getting the I need itch a skateboard, yeah. That's yeah. a scary board. The I could he, ride it. Because he has two different ones. There's one that, the the one that he had before. Well, I love... The I, cruiser and the trick deck? Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm no, no, no. I, I forgot what the, whichever one he had before. I like that one. Oh. That one's fun. Okay. I have my own, but... The longboard <laughs> is good, though. I steal it because he always has it on him. <laughs> the longboard is good. Okay, because you're long. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, there you go. Long, I am very... Well, it's it's the board, perfect. Well, the, well, it's a smaller... The board he has with the bigger wheels? That's the the, per, the one with the purple base. It's a cruiser. I mean, it's not like a longboard, but it's shaped... But yeah, it's well, shaped no, like you, have a, you have a longboard. No, board. I have a longboard, though, but yeah. I don't really ride it that much, honestly. Well, I remember yeah. I would ride it yeah, back right. in the day, and it was it easier was a smooth you. ride. Yeah, it was easier for me, yeah. yeah I rode the, the, the basic trick deck and stuff. You don't, deck and, you don't have a board, Julius? I had one where it was the base of it, or the, the back art of it was a cow farting. Um, oh, but amazing. then I, <laughs> I think I lost it because it just wasn't that good. I... I didn't know anything about board mechanics or anything, or replacing mm-hmm. wheels, or the, uh, what, what's it called, the legs of the wheels? Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. No, but like, what's it called, the metal part? The little trucks. The, tr- the truck, yeah, yeah, those, I didn't know anything about trucks. that, so, um, I didn't really replace it, I think I gave it away, so, I could always get another one. Did I ever tell you a story how I got a free skateboard one time from a homeless guy? <laughs> he was giving you stuff? So, I remember one time, I was like, with Abby, my friend, by the way, Mm-hmm. Um, we shout went to, Abby. yeah, shout, shout out to her. Abby. We went to the Arcadia Mall and stuff, yada, yada. I saw this kid and he had looked homeless. He, so for a record, this kid just ran away and stuff. He was just doing bullshit, but wherever he's at, I hope he's doing good. Uh-huh. But anywho, he had like an instant clown posse shirt. <laughs> uh, that was pretty cool. So I remember something like, Hey, it's a cool shirt, man. We started talking and we just started talking. We were minor still. This guy was a minor too. So we're just kids. So it's, uh-huh. we go back to South Pass, I guess, you know, yada, yada. we're on the train. That we'll the South Pass group was on the train. And by the end of the day, I'm like, man, we're talking about skateboarding. He's like, hey, man, you want a skateboard? I'm like, are you sure, bro? Because this guy has red and white. He's like, yeah, man, you could have it. I'm like, are you sure? Aww. And he's like, yeah, man. I think it was John. But then I got it back, and that skateboard was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. But I got to fix it. Well, it got fucked up, I think. Oh, really? I just need these new trucks, Do you honestly. Still have it? Yeah, oh. I still have it. It just needs, new, it just needs new trucks, but it's kind of breaking because it was kind of a, it was already a little dirt, dusty. I don't know if it already is, but it was it worked pretty it good. It was messed up already. Yeah, a little bit. Like uh, yeah, I mean it was his his main uh, main direct transport was a skateboard, you know? but he just gave it to me. I'm like, well, shit. And crazy. you took it from him, you <laughs> little shit. <laughs> yeah, I, think I did. <laughs> he was offering. Who's offering? <laughs> That's really sweet. Well, I listen to the H Street podcast a lot. Vape Nash, foot soldiers. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> what's... <laughs> I probably sound real cringe right now. A little bit, but that's fine. 
But yeah, I listen to the H3 podcast a lot. I listen to the Hassan here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? Do I listen to the Goat Movie podcast. Oh, so the ones that suck. The ones that have, don't have, you know, yeah. people, people, no rappers, no gangbang. I'm kidding. No people talking <laughs> no about gang sipping, bangers. No gang bangers. I'll go to your work, link. dude. Oh, I'll go, go to work to get some interviews. For, for the record, I'm not going to disclose where I work at, but I work at cons. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not going to disclose our workout, but you know, shout out to, shout out to those fools. Ignore this podcast, please. <laughs> please. I'm hoping people ignore the last one that I did. <laughs> I actually didn't listen to it. I oh, haven't listened Jesus. to it yet. Well, watch your ears, man. Watch your ears. Because that's the one I had Ufway on. Jacob knows Ufway. And I'm never having her back here in my house again. There, I'm never. If you listen, there's a specific part where it sounds like she's being attacked. And she's screaming at the top of her lungs. I want for the record sh- that she did that herself. She left the room and she did it herself. Listen to the podcast if you want to know what that's. Happened. I'm never having her back in this house because my neighbors are are already looking at me like I'm a, I'm a goddamn psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> and now then this shit happens. What I had to the... get rush her out of the place after the podcast. So you keep your go. mouth shut. All right. And you too. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. So has a lot of reactor content. I guess, yeah, because, oh, Jesus Christ. Sometimes I just have to, you know, if you're talking about a heavy subject, politics, stuff like mm-hmm. that, there's got to be something in there that's not as, you know, it's got to make me laugh or something because mm-hmm. oh, the state of the world it just makes me feel so hopeless. Yeah, it, <laughs> I it's just, crazy a little bit. If I turn on the news and I just listen to it, you know, mm-hmm. I I have to end up turning it off because it's just, it's too much. Yeah. So if I listen to a little bit of like, Oh, this is what's going on. Yeah. And throw a little joke in there, here, <laughs> here and there. I, yeah. I'm all right. I listen to a lot of the sim- same stuff, mm-hmm. um, but I'm curious if you ever feel this way about after listening to someone who obviously is educated highly, mm-hmm. do you ever kind of second guess yourself of like, I should probably do my own research about yeah. what is going on because I don't want to be, you know, just subscribe to one person's yeah. thoughts and everything. You ever yeah. feel that way? Yeah, definitely. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, look, I have an education. I right. went to college, you know, so I have a lot of the same views mm-hmm. because I went to college and I studied it and I know, kind of know my shit, you know. So sometimes when I'm listening, I'm like, okay, yeah, I agree. This is what I learned about in school. So I know that it, it checks out. Yeah. But, I mean, it's always good to like look up Let's just look shit up. But be careful what you're looking up, please, because yeah. you don't want to end up on uh, some Alex Jones shit. Brother? <laughs> Brother. Now listen here. Now fuck Alex Jones. <laughs> fuck Alex Jones. I think that's happening right now, actually. Oh, the court. Oh, they are fucking yeah. him. Have you been keeping up with that? The yeah. the whole trial? Somewhat. Uh, somewhat here and there. I just know that his lawyer's fucked up big time and well, he has well, yeah. to pay like $50 million. We're going like right? to smoke that uh, um, Alex, Alex Jones, Jones pack. pack. The Alex Jones pack? Yeah, fuck that bozo. Of what? It's just pack of what? It's just a little... Pack of shit? No. Okay, I'm sorry. Shit, I'm not... I, Fucking I'm not idiot. A, you don't get the slang. <laughs> I'm not an InfoWars you're subscriber, the old, bro. You're, you're the oldest young man I know. I am. No, I think Miles is. You know, you're kind of right. Shut up, Miles, though. You guys, you guys, no, but he's, he's the youngest old, yeah, so, so, yeah, him too. Yeah, the oldest young man, him too. He's first place, though, so you're second. Old man, okay, that's fine. You spit on my drink. Fuck your Jake. drink, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, I think you got dentures, so you're the oldest. Dude. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. No, so, so, he's, is it done, the trial, or is it ongoing? I think it's ongoing. I think it's done i mean how i mean how much longer can you go once you caught him lying we'll find out after this podcast probably Probably. yeah yeah look it up while we talk about alex jones because alex jones for those who don't know how could you not um conspiracy theorist online for over a decade at this point i remember seeing videos of his back Mm -hmm. during the obama administration probably before that Mm -hmm. um but he you know he's the the most notable thing, especially now with this trial, are his um, accusations regarding Sandy Hook being faked, you know, a government conspiracy. He called, yeah, like if you look at the news and stuff, you look at all the footage of the parents crying outside the schools and stuff, stuff like that. He called them actors. Yeah, he called them actors. actors. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Fucked up. It was insane. This man is yeah. Unhinged. This man is unhinged. He was. I saw a video. Where he just literally, and it's literally word from word almost. Well, from what I heard, I didn't finish because it's just so retarded. Mm-hmm. Um, so, 
he basically described like a conspiracy theory. He literally described Neon Genesis. <laughs> like you can look up on YouTube. He literally described Neon Genesis, the whole plot and everything. And I was like, yo, <laughs> this, this man, this man's a little bonkers, man. Yeah, no, it's it's not good, and this guy has a lot of reach and everything. I mean, they, they, when 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 the character J. Jonah Jameson from the Spider-Man films is based off you, like the newest version was, mm. <laughs> had him with the supplements and his in his room with the green screen and everything in the last film. It's bad. It's bad <laughs> <laughs> when you're that guy. Well, I fuck that idiot. I came. Uh, d- what? I just, I, Jesus Christ. I was going to say I, um, something came up, but oh, then okay. I was also going to say I found something. Oh, so okay. then I ended up saying I came. <laughs> <laughs> Freudian so, slip. So I, I came across. <laughs> Maybe I'll just finish that. Jacob's just staring at you with daggers in his eyes. <laughs> what? Stop playing games, Julie. <laughs> Alex Jones' lawyer could face consequences for phone records release by Jacqueline Thompson. Phone records release, including text messages and all that? Yeah, for that, you know, he fucking... He, he was he texting... Up bad. He was texting that he was lying about his Sandy Hook uh, accusations, right? Is that what happened? Um, You know what? Let me read it. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. He basically released... Um, he accidentally sent... Um, the parents' is lawyers. The the lawyer of Alex Jones? Alex Jones' lawyer accidentally, if I'm not mistaken, because I haven't been on the internet in a little while. Right. Um, he accidentally sent them Alex Jones' messages proving that whatever he was asked, he was, he was lying about it. Yeah. So they proved it. They proved he was lying with those text messages. Mm-hmm. Like, did you know? Yeah. <laughs> did you know that your lawyers sent us that? <laughs> they sent us that stuff. It's a proof and of he's slander. Like, he's like... <laughs> so now, I mean, he has to pay 15, like, no! close to $50 million. It's not true, and the frogs are gay. They're turning the frogs gay! <laughs> yeah. Um, what if frogs were already gay before? They were. They probably are. Yeah, they already are. They're hippie hopping around being gay and happy. They weren't influenced in it. They just were. Even they had Alex Jones too. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how anyone can take him seriously anymore. Not the frogs come seriously. No, dude. I mean, I remember a couple years ago, and we've talked about this, but a couple years ago, he was on tr- a custody hearing. Uh, he was going to lose his kids because of the fears of what Infowars was and the impact on his mm. life. He was, and the way he was just acting and you know going crazy on in front of the camera. Yeah. The cut. You know, the courts were like, oh, this guy's unstable to be a parent because he's going so insane. And he claims to not be full of it when he's out there on, in front of the camera. So then he has to claim that he's, he's a performer, yeah. a performance artist, as it were. And it, it, I mean, all, he's already admitted legally in the system that he is full of it. So I don't know how people can still at this point. And he lied under oath, too. Yeah, he lied. Isn't that like a fine or some shit? It's like a that? it's a felony, isn't it? I mean, oh, damn. Lo- I think so yeah, it's bad. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. It'll hurt your pockets either way, dude. I mean, does the man have fifty million dollars? Well, I was talking to Miles yesterday um, from Infowars, probably because they had a big oh. fan base. You know, I mean, they were at Trump rallies and everything. There's that Eric Andre sketch where he goes up to the oh, the Infowars. <laughs> He could confuse him with Trevor Noah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. He he said he called them here the the Daily Show guys here. How the hell do you confuse him though? I mean, you know, come on. Why else would racist? Why else would Alex Noah. Jones confuse him with Trevor he's Noah? He's either just a dumb, he's a super racist, or a fucking idiot. Does Alex Probably Jones? Both. Does, does Alex Jones know people of color? Probably not. I mean, he knew. He knows Eric Andre. He knows Eric Andre. He, Eric Andre, I like when he goes up to him, I want you to have sex with my wife. <laughs> sex with my wife. <laughs> I love our Eric Andre. We stand Eric Andre. He needs, a, he needs to have his own podcast. I'd watch that. I assume it would just be more of a casual version of his interview You're right. segments on the show. They're pretty right? good. Yeah, they're pretty good. But they're more casual because they're kind of uncasual. Oh, oh yeah, man. well they they like straight. I, I'm not gonna say they assault people, but they like touch people. They go in front of people and everything. Yeah. One of the, one of the most famous <laughs> examples is with Jeanette McCurdy. 
oh, from iCarly. Jesus. Oh my god! And it's funny that we're talking about that and mm-hmm. her and everything because she just recently. I just heard about it before we, we did this. Uh, released a memoir recently about her life and everything, and it's called "I'm Glad My Mother Died," and it, it's a picture of her on the cover with a smiling with an urn, and she's oh. getting a lot of backlash for it, obviously. But the memoir is about her. You know, she was a childhood actor and everything, and she was pushed in that system by her mom, apparently. And the mom was really abusive physically and mentally mm-hmm. and everything and making her do all sorts of performative stuff. You know, what kid actors have to go through. So and, and she, excuse me, she had to bring up, she had to, well, no, what she said was, uh, because she's gone, I can start the path towards healing. Oh, it's really, so sad. I, yeah, I just heard about it. I mean, there's a lot of kids out there that, have to live in households like that unfortunately and they're in the, the position where their parents are literally beating their ass and you know mm-hmm. they're being super horrible to them yeah how could you not feel relief when they die and they, i feel bad because you know it's sad because these kids feel bad mm-hmm. for being relieved when their parents die but yeah i mean how could you not well the tragedy in that situation is that the relationship it was too late for it to yeah. get better yeah. You know, and uh, I feel I feel for her, but I'm glad she can heal at this point. Yeah. You know? yeah I mean, it is a saucy title, though. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Did she mention me. the Eric Andre part in it or no? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I, I'd like to read it. I'd like to read it, too. Yeah. That's really sad. I mean, I was just thinking about that. Like, what? literally, maybe, like... Last Jeanette night. Jeanette McCurdy? No, not Jeanette. Love her. Love her. <laughs> Love you, Jeanette McCurdy. But I was thinking about the topic of just kids you know, uh-huh. being abused by their parents and then having to, like, heal on their own. Man, that's so fucked up, Well, you man. have to work with kids, right? Yeah. You Or you you don't have to. You do work with kids. Yeah, and you, so you see a lot of, a lot of fucked up shit, mm-hmm. man. It, I, I feel like as much as I learned about abuse in school and stuff, it just doesn't... It does... It prepares you to see, like, the signs, mm-hmm. but it just doesn't... It, you just... It's hard when you're there. Like, yeah. nothing can prepare you for, like, oh, my God. Like, this is happening to yeah. kids, and I know these kids, and I really love my job, yeah. and I love these kids. Uh, you yeah. know, you get to know them. They're, I mean, they're your your kids, your students. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, man, this is so fucked, man. Uh-huh. Life is so unfair. I, you know, I've often thought about that because of the stories you've told about your experience. Mm. It sounds crazy first, and... Yeah. Also, like, with some of these kids you've brought up who are, who tell you things about their home life. Yeah. Like, it's the building blocks to trauma in the future. Oh, so It's unfortunate, sad. man. You see them play, like, it's sad because, like, you see them playing around and stuff, you know, like, they're, they're very young kids. Mm-hmm. Like, I recently, just for the audience, just a little background, I recently just worked with kids from the age of five, I think was the youngest, Five or six to about seven. Uh-huh. Five to seven or eight. Mm-hmm. Something like that. And these kids, you know, innocent. You know, yeah. they're innocent kids. Even mm-hmm. though, you know, pick their boogers and <laughs> smudge it on me, you know. <laughs> hey, Miss. <laughs> <It sucks>. What? <laughs> <laughs> literally, I had one kid literally just... He's like, hey, miss, I know. Like, he, he's, he's on he me. Did, you didn't even get to say what. <laughs> yeah, literally. And then he just went on. He just, he was like, miss, I know. Miss, can I have, can, can I have, can, uh, miss, can, can I have, um, can I have, um, and then literally, I'm like, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> so, okay, I have to, like, you know, a lot of people don't have patience with kids mm-hmm. a lot of people don't have patience for them we have to remember they're kids you have to yeah I have to, i'm like okay 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 look we don't do that we have to cover our our, <laughs> our hands i mean our hands <laughs> we have to cover Mask our up. mouth we have to cover our mouth and our nose with our shoulder right <laughs> you know like they teach you in school <laughs> and they're like oh okay and you know they're they're great kids so they'll, they'll do it uh-huh after the fact. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> Kid looks at you like, okay, j- just w- one last one for the road. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. 
These kids, I'll be like, no, don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do X thing. No, I know you're about to do it. Don't do it. And they'll, they'll stare at me <laughs> and they'll do it. <laughs> I, you know, I, this next question, I don't mean to freak you out, Jacob, but when it comes to this in your experience, mm-hmm. has it given you any second thoughts of having kids in the future? Fuck yeah, dude. I, <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> I've told I've I've talked to Jacob about this before. I'm like, you know what? I have niece I have a niece yeah. that I live I mean I live right in front. Like I live in the front yeah. house. My sister lives in the back. It's her sister my sister's baby. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to my niece. So she's in the like future. one, my one year old niece. And you know, I babysit, whatever. I I feel like it takes a village to raise a kid. Mm-hmm. Um that being including, you know, your family members teachers community members schools like all of that it takes a village to raise a kid so yeah that's enough for me (laughs) i don't need to i don't need to raise my own i have so many look at how many options i mean not options to you know to take to take (laughs) but you know it's like i have so many kids it's just so much so much of a not a it's not a burden it's like it's a heavy weight it's a responsibility yeah yeah so yeah. it's like, you know, I lo- at the end of the day, I love working with kids. Mm-hmm. It's stressful and it's sad, mm-hmm. you know, when it comes down to, you know, seeing a lot of fucked up shit from their, you know, their home life. <sighs> but I don't know. I kind of don't see myself doing anything else for a, a Not long Not for a while, time. yeah. So with that being said, no, I don't, I don't <laughs> want no kids. <laughs> I have enough. <laughs> Get your tubes tied, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no i i get you man i well i actually i don't i couldn't even imagine what the, your job is like i just have to deal with adults who act like children at my work oh my god Tell but you you know it. yeah i mean you know about it you before this you were where where were you working at dunkin donuts dunkin donuts <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i worked at dunkin donuts i want to hear the horror stories Oh my god. Well, it was not too bad. I before I worked there, I heard that this man came in and assaulted my coworker because they asked him to put on a mask. Uh-huh. Being working in food service and customer service stuff like that when like the pandemic was really, you know, when everybody was strict with mask wearing, you couldn't go yeah. anywhere without a mask, whatever. There was this one woman that like it's just people are so fucking stupid. I'm sorry. Some of y'all are just fucking stupid. <laughs> I mean, this girl comes in and she's a... She, no, she's not a girl. She's a woman. She comes in and I'm handing... And I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, my manager goes, Hi, man. Welcome to Duncan. What can I get started for you? Uh-huh. And she goes... And she goes, um, uh, yeah, let me get... Oh, ma'am, I'm sorry. You're going to have to put on a mask. Um, I'm sorry. You're uh-huh. going to have to put on a mask if you want us to service you. And she's like, but, like, why? Uh-huh. And she's like, well, we just, it, it it's the rules. I don't know. I don't make, I don't make the fucking rules. Yeah. Just, just do it. And she was like, just like, fine. So she goes to the back. She grabs a napkin, and she places it just, like, right in front of her fucking face. Not even covering her mouth. It's just, I don't, well, I'm showing you guys right now. Yeah. But she literally goes, okay, so let me have, like, a, she's like, ma'am, no, you have to wear an actual mask. Like, she's like, but it's the same thing. No. And she's like, I'm sorry, ma'am, you're going to have to wear an actual mask. And we were in the back, like, dun, 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 dun. we're like, what the fuck? Just put on the mask. Do people really think the cloth is as sufficient? I remember when I went to a Smart and Final, mm-hmm. uh, uh, what are they called? Not the junior, but the, um, the Smart and Final extra is that what it's called the smaller ones the more compact ones i don't know okay well that's what they were that's what it is let's just call it <laughs> weenie weenie hut juniors i went to and i picked up some stuff and there were lots of people in there there was a fucking line out the door and this was at the beginning of the pandemic really mm-hmm. and there's this guy who's walking around like the shorter older guy like a guy who's vulnerable to covid at the time probably and he's got a little co- little, little cloth and he's like this he's like literally like that. it's it was it pissed me off. I want to yell at the guy. <laughs> and well, especially because back then, I mean, now it's like I, I'm sadly gotten used to like people not wearing masks, especially where I worked. Mm-hmm. We had like 60 kids yeah. and maybe like 
five of them wore a mask the whole uh-huh. time. So I've kind of gotten used to not seeing people, mm-hmm. you know, with masks on. But back then, I remember, like, literally sitting down on a bench and being like, oh, my God, <laughs> I am going to get COVID. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me. Like, I might as well just kill myself now like i'm gonna get covid mm-hmm. and then my whole family got covid oh, except Jesus. for me <laughs> oh my god it was so fucked up i was like okay so i kind of started being like wait a minute <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me a double vaccination and a booster will actually kind of keep me from getting covid to a certain extent this is fucking yeah. cool why don't people do it i don't like come on just do it it's fun I don't it's fine know, man Well, I know that uh, we've had plenty of instances, all of us have had plenty of instances where we could have easily have caught COVID because we go to a lot of shows, a lot of uh, like ska shows, some of the punk shows and everything where people get close and and rowdy and everything. Now, this isn't the first time I've actually talked to Jacob on a microphone. I I interviewed you a couple of years ago for uh, Riviera and everything. Uh, I want to and I think I'm going to upload that interview before this one. Because Yay. I want to give people some context and stuff. So why don't you update the people as to where you are now um, with all that? Just chilling still. Just taking my time. Uh-huh. You know, hopefully big things in the works, hopefully. Yeah. I'm not going to say too much. Oh, okay. All well, right. it's nothing big about me. Just, well, know. you got to... You, have you, you got shows? I can't say Oh, you it. can't say I can't anything. say it. No, yeah, I can't. No exclusive? No, it's just show and stuff. That's pretty cool and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's in the works, but hopefully it happens. Uh-huh. Um... You can't. Think. You can't say it if it's not. If you don't know if it's gonna. Can happen. I tell you about a crazy story that happened? One yeah. Time? No, please. Yeah. So my. So this was a while ago. I was probably about nineteen or twenty, and uh, like I have a stupid ass job. I was going with that, that stupid ass indoor playground. I'm not gonna say where it's at though. It's uh. just location. But <laughs> I'm gonna say this though. The guy who owned it was called. Let's say just. To, I'm not gonna say his full name. You know. Let's see. Let's call him a just balloon maker. Balloon maker. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna say that. I know who this is. First of all, fuck him. <laughs> He's a bitch ass fool. And that's it. Okay, but, okay. So anyway, summer one time. Now that I, we got I, that I out of the way. So I was at that. <laughs> so I was at that shitty job, right? Yeah. And then I'm just chilling. I got a text message from some promoter guy saying like, "Hey man, do you guys want to play this band drop last minute?" And it was a cool place. It was at some like. It was in a basement in Deets in the heart as an art gallery and like the heart of DTLA and stuff. Right. It's pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I liked it a lot. It was I forgot what it was called, but they don't have shows anymore because of this instance. What happened? <laughs> so we play. See, see, we play. We played right. We played last minute. The thing that sucked because it was, for the record, we're we're not a, a heavy a heavy esque man. Mm-hmm. You know, we play a lot of melodic stuff. You know, not as heavy and stuff. You know, I guess we could play. You know, for reference, as in the emo genre, but we played a band where bands are punk. There, you know, hardcore bands, metal bands. Oh, and and what's the group called? Uh, well, my band? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. At the time, it was called News, because we, we just had a name for the fuck of it, but then, you know, we got a DM from a, 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 another band of News or something like that, uh-huh. or someone who was associated with the band saying, we're trying to steal their name, whatever, like, you know, <laughs> and it's like, man, let's change the name, this is too, it doesn't even, it doesn't even suit, it's just like too edgy, you know, uh-huh, like, yeah. you know, we're not edgy people, Yeah. but like, yeah, at the time, we're new, I forgot, I think we're News, yeah, <laughs> so at the time, so, you know, the, for first off, we're having fun, but, you know, People are starting to slowly leave and stuff when it starts playing, but, you know, it's okay. I get it. Yeah. You know, we weren't on, but then people are still staying and stuff. You know, the he- shout out to the headliner. I'm not going to say their name, though, probably, because okay. they don't exist no more. Okay. Um, they were trying to get people to come in and people to come in. So that was pretty cool. It was, the, it was a Thursday evening. It was pretty fun and stuff. And then, you know, we were the band. So, for the record, we were the, the last band to play a whole full set in the whole show. Yeah. So was the next, this late at night? Like no, this is probably so shit, shit started going down around late, like eight forty, okay. eight thirty ish, okay. nine, around eight, run there. Okay. So we're just chilling though. It's a cool show. It's getting rowdy. You know, it's fun. And then we see a fight, yada yada. So then, but then in the, in, in yeah the yeah pit? yeah this big guy he was drunk obviously off some shit I don't know he was really drunk. And then I see some just pull up the stairs. I'm like that's kind of weird. And then, like, people are in after him and stuff, you know, yada, yada. And then me and my friend are like, oh, well, the show's obviously over because, you know, this shit went down. The, they were trying to get out and stuff, so we're getting out. And, you know, as we go upstairs, we see blood. And we're like, what the hell happened? And then a, an old friend of mine told me, yeah, that, that guy around the, that, that, that fat guy around the stairs, yeah, he got stunned in the back of the head. Oh, my. So I was like, fuck, man. <laughs> 
and there's blood all over the, the stairs and stuff. And oh. I, I got a picture of it, but I don't know. I mean, no more, but I was like, yo. Like, I just got off I of just this got off work, ass this job. job. I mean, it was a cool day. It was a weekday, too. I mean. It was a cool day. So we got stabbed. We got to play. We got well, to Hey, cool. hey, hey. That's when it got weird. <laughs> that, that's when it got really weird. We, we, luckily, we didn't get hurt or nothing. We got up just safe and fine. Mm-hmm. Love. That, I'm just glad we got fired from that show. That was a whole shit to show. I mean, it, there was a lot of cool shows there and stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, it was pretty cool that I got to play the same venue and some bands I like, so that was pretty cool. So they're not having shows there anymore? I don't know if they are. I saw on Instagram they were and stuff. And they, I'm, just for the sake of it, I'm not going to name them <laughs> just for the sake of it. I don't want to I don't want to. No, yeah, I don't want to get stabbed, but yeah. You know, I've just been taking it easy on shows, you know. Uh-huh. I'm, we're going to a show in October just trying to save money, you know. Well, you're oh, seeing we someone big. Fans. Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah. I guess all the bands. I guess, it's pretty cool. I guess all the bands I like when I was like, a little younger and stuff, you know. MCR, MCR, Thursday. you know, I like there's I guess see boys like girls, you know, all those bands that those pop punk bands I liked when I was younger. I mean, you yeah. know, when are you seeing Harry Styles? <laughs> November, <laughs> November, November 5th. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> we'll be there. That's when I'm gonna insert that uh, clip of you saying I came. <laughs> no, <laughs> your bitch ass up, Julius. <laughs> No. The power of editing. Oh Jesus Christ! Are you are you excited as you're not as excited as her? But are you excited to see? It's be pretty cool. It's, be often. it's an experience. I like all music. It's uh-huh. not bad. It's not like I'm seeing Russ or something. <laughs> I'd rather heard. My eyes switching. I'd rather heard like Harry Styles and fucking stupid ass Russ. So at least I will. Who's who's Russ? Oh, he's the bitch ass. Sing fool. a song. I'm not. I don't know the Russ songs. I don't bump Russ. <laughs> Who is it? He's just a is, it a, is it a same genre as Harry Styles? No, not really. I, mean, I no. guess. I mean, it's, it's girl music, I'll say that. Oh, but okay. like, Harry oh Styles is good. Oh my god, what does that even well, mean? Well, it's just all our girls like him, that's why. A lot of girls like Russ and Harry Styles. I don't know that they're doing I like some Harry Styles and stuff, but I don't know that a man my age likes Harry Styles. Oh, ignore this podcast. <laughs> Whatever, anywho. <laughs> ignore it. I'm not supposed to it, just girl music. I think Andrew likes Harry Styles. At least that one song. Which one? The As It Was. As It Was. I don't know that's a lot much. As It Was. It's, it's you catchy. You know it's not the same. <laughs> please, oh, it's going to get copyrighted. Yeah, please. I sound just like them. Shut up. Why. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. That. So I'm, I wish I could say I was going to as many concerts. I mean, there's the Wu-Tang one later in yeah, the year. Yeah. I'm not Hopefully trying to. we can make it. I'm not really going to show them much more, honestly. I mean, I, I just want to see bands. I want to see more that I haven't mm-hmm. seen before. More. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to use the restroom, ladies and gentlemen. Good. Like, it's been pretty water. fun to an extent and stuff. What, the concerts? Yeah, oh, I just, I'm just burnt down from them, honestly. You're, you've been going to a lot. Oh, not recently this year, but like when I was younger, definitely uh-huh. I've been to a lot when I was younger. Uh, I got stories when I hear that too, but. Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, so. Well, I mean, there's the infamous one of us going to Hollywood. Oh, that one was. Well, that was an okay. That was, that was an okay show. It was fun. Well, the journey was more. The journey was the fun. Story. I don't know if you say the full story, though, but well, I, you know, I'll, Justin. I'll, oh, God. So, I'll tell fragments of it. Right. We went to this... I, I don't even remember what area it was, but... It, it was past Fairfax? La Brea? Yeah. Something so like that. We were going to... Was it, it was a punk show. I wouldn't even say a punk show. I don't know what it was, because there, really, there was, like, one punk band. I forgot who it was. It, well, it was, a, it was a show inside an art gallery in the Armenian area of uh, Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah. And we, as kids back in high school, didn't know about, you, we didn't know which bus to get on. So we got off around uh, where the Chinese theater is yeah, in Hollywood. Hollywood. And we walked all the way down. We had to walk all the way, all the way That's down. That's a good two hours. Oh my God. Yeah. It took us a long time to get down there. And we got there and along the way, we were seeing all different parts of all, like sections of Hollywood based on culture. You know, there's an area filled with uh, synagogues and uh, Jewish people and everything, delis and all that. Yeah. There's the Armenian area. You get to pass Pink's hot dogs and everything. And Justin, our friend, is yelling at people, just screaming at people in the streets. I'm not going to say what, because if, if anyone's going to say it on a mic, it's going to be him. So if I have him on, he'll uh, I'll ask him if he wants to tell that story, what he actually said. Uh, <laughs> but he's yelling at people, terrorizing. And then we finally get to the uh, art gallery and we're waiting in line outside. And I remember specifically an interaction you had with a, in, a guy in line. It was a guy who was friends with the promoter. And he was this like shorter guy, Mexican, long hair and everything. <laughs> and you guys were talking about music that both of you like. Yeah. <laughs> and he when he parted, he was like, hey, man, I'll, I'll talk to you later, man. I'm, go- I'm about to snort some cocaine, man. <laughs> Uh, do you remember this? Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, like, oh, sick ass fool. <laughs> then he, then I walked he away. Shot 
<laughs> that he went off inside. I don't do cocaine for the record. No, no, no not, none of us do. None of us do cocaine. We don't do drugs. But that's why I was so surprised when you said, yeah. oh, sick fool, sick. I was, I don't know. I was being <laughs> stupid. I came on. He could have fucking, I don't know. He could have been lying. He could have been lying. Yeah. Who knows? That's not our life. We don't do coke. But I mean, no. that, that, that that was our, that was like, because we don't have that social interaction with people at that time who yeah. were into that stuff. Because we were kind of, let's just say we were, we, we were in a, a spot in high school that we weren't really put into what's the word looking for uh what like, i guess social instances? well i mean i don't know we were kind of Sh- outsiders a little bit yeah and that's you know that's okay that's, that's fine that's whatever. i mean most of the people there are outsiders yeah. at that um at that sh- those types of shows yeah like if you go to the smell or that art gallery or whatever i'm mean, fuck the smell bro well, i'm kidding I, I, yeah, no that's whole, true i mean they have some good shows there but they have some wild, I don't they, do. there. they have good shows there. I, I don't go to the smell as much anymore uh, yeah. it's just it's not my thing man it never really was honestly i mean it's it's good for five bucks yeah you know just some good show i mean i saw i don't i just wish they would just throw like just different type just anything but like indie there would be kind of cool I feel. anything but indie i mean yeah i tell you i mean indie's cool and stuff uh-huh. but like man it, i don't want to see an indie band all the time it'd be cool they had like i don't know get some like fucking i don't know throw a death metal show well, I don't I, fucking know. when whenever i would go it was mainly punk people I don't know. I don't know what shows you went there, but I, yeah, I, it was well, yeah. I would. It, it, it's a nice, It's wholesome there. At least I'm not even a front. It's, it's wholesome. It's it's wholesome until you start really talking to some people. <laughs> yeah, I talked about, at the I smell. Know? I didn't talk oh. to the smell at all. I, I talked. I, to I, I did. I, I'm. I don't know if this is an unpopular take, but I love the smell. I love it too. But I, there I mean, were we dogs good, there. There are dogs yeah. there. We went to a good they show there. They own it. The dogs own it. it it's For the record, I like the smell. I'm just joking. No, I like the smell. Um, I'm, that, I'm, right? I'm whatever on the smell, you know, yeah. but, um, no, but where we finally get to this art gallery where the show is in, in Hollywood and we're there and this, I think you've heard this story, Lynn, where we get inside <laughs> the, the art gallery and, you know, we're looking at the different pieces on the uh-huh. walls and everything. And then the show begins and it's really tight space because it's enclosed and everything. Uh-huh. And the mosh pit starts and people are pressed up on the walls like myself. Uh-huh. Justin's pressed up on the wall. A girl's grinding on him and everything. He's, he looks like, like Caesar and shit. Like, <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. like the, <laughs> he's doing that, you know, and then what? <laughs> is home. Yeah, he <laughs> grabbed that chick by the head and it's just like, Caesar. Is home. <laughs> <laughs> he did that. And um, what, what, el- what else happened was the mosh pit happened and there were these two people there. There was this girl and guy, both white, blonde hair and everything. They looked like siblings. Siblings, of course. The guy looked really aggressive more aggressive than the girl mm-hmm. he was wearing the you know the leather jacket with the spikes on the shoulders and everything okay. and the buzz cut and all that it's like biff bro he, <laughs> just like a, a, a skinny biff okay. a death death metal biff he will call him death metal biff and uh annie oakley were in the mosh pit and they were like really aggressive towards each other they're like pushing each other really i think you would think that they hated each other yeah you would and you'd also think if by looking at them that they were siblings they did look all like they looked exactly like they and, might have been yeah well then get ready for the ick factor because what happens is they it, like a whirlpool have you seen the third pirates of the caribbean film Oh, God. You know, okay, so there's a part where the two ships are in a big whirlpool and they're <laughs> they're circling each other and then they get finally, to the point, they Julius. finally meet in the middle and then they just these siblings, Biff and any Alleg- allegedly. Uh, allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, yeah. I, I don't know, but they were. Uh, they start making out <laughs> aggressively in front of everybody. <laughs> in front of everybody, they start just that going after each me. other, and it was. It was nasty, man. I, I felt uncomfortable. I was like, hey, Jacob, it's time to go now, dude. See, what doesn't surprise me is the making out heavily in the middle of the pit. But what Extra. surprises me is that these fools were probably siblings. That shit was that, weird. Dude, they, this Luke and Lana situation. That's <laughs> what it was. Well, there was uh, so many crazy things have happened that show. Yeah. We have stories for days. I was going to tell them about this, this, some crazy stories that I had when I was, before I met you, of course. I was when I was younger and stuff. I was gonna. Nothing bad though. It was. Uh, I remember me and my me me and my, my best friend, bandmate Adrian. Shout out Adrian. Uh-huh. Um, we would DJ at. A, I'm not gonna send him to his place. You know, 
eh, whatever. Um, we used DJ. I'm gonna say essentially it was a squat. Like, okay, it was a squat. There were fools living in this little warehouse and stuff, and they were chill. Shout out to them. I'm not gonna name them either because I'm pretty sure the, there's a lot of legal stuff that happened there. I'll say. Okay. Um, but anywho, you know, it was pretty fun. Good times. Good show. I remember. I, oh, fuck. I remember one time. And it was pretty funny too. I remember it was a show. It wasn't cracking as much, but the pill was pretty crazy. There, a guy like straight up broke his arm there, or, like <laughs> dislocated it, and it was hanging like that. Oh jeez! I think he popped back in and went in the pit, and it got popped back out or something. Really? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. That was a that was a crazy story. Yeah. And that was a what else That's happened? Remember just uh, doing uh, just DJing one time, and I'm still kind of young at the time. I'm 18. Uh-huh. You know, I'm fresh out of high school, so it was like you know. This is freshly new to me. I'm like, I mean, I make I make friends with people who probably I shouldn't be friends with probably mm-hmm. in the first place. Anywho, yeah, but that's a whole different story. Yeah, yeah. but hey, I was young, you know. I, like we said, me and Julius come from a part where we were outsider. I, we'll say we're outsiders. We'll say that. You I, know. Would, I would probably say that. Yeah, but you know, it worked out for the best of us. If we're honest, honestly, you know, we avoided. We yeah. had no bullshit in high school drama. You know, we just kept well, ourselves. I, mean, well, I wouldn't yeah, say that. But bullshit, but we know <laughs> to an extent we dealt bullshit that that didn't really that couldn't. Well, I don't know bullshit that would. Pass and go, but it was multiple bull- bullshit instances that would okay, pass wait, and go. I, I'm dying but anywho, to know, so the like, story. Okay, so back to DJing. So it's a whole new thing to me. You know, I'm DJing, and it's like so. This is near like um the end of the night. You know, last band played, and we're still DJing and stuff. And everyone comes to the back area. So there's two areas of this place. There's like a divider of it. There's a wall with like I guess where a window should have been, but there's no window there. It's just a blank space. You know, uh-huh. you go over from the other room. So you could do that and stuff. So everyone's just coming from there. You know, we, we see the bands there too. So me and Adrian just chill there. You know, my, just vibing. It's the playing music. You know, everyone's digging it. And, you know, uh-huh. they're digging it too much to a certain extent, you know. Yeah. So at the point, you know, we're playing some, I don't know what we're playing, MF Doom or fucking uh, something. But we see this lady, this guy, she like, looks she looks normal and stuff, right? And then they bring like, vials of cocaine. <laughs> and they start doing lines after lines and stuff. In front of you? Yeah. To the music. Like, they're vibing, the, they're just vibing to the music and stuff. Uh-huh. I'm like, yo, we got a dip, bro. Yeah. And we just did it for that. But this lady looked twacked off with the coke. And she, met, she, had a, she had a dog with her, too. She brought her dog. I'm like, what oh, the was, fuck? Was the dog doing the lines as well? Probably. I don't yeah, know. Probably. Nah, but that was like, that's when, like, we got to go, bro. Because, yeah. like, yo, we, this, 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 was the after, this is after the show. So it's essentially an after party now. Oh and, you God. know, we have options like, you know, we could have DJ all night and spend the night there, but we didn't want to spend the night in South Central. That wasn't no. South Central. It was past, it was in the fashion district, but a lot of cool shows there. Uh-huh. I remember there was like one big show that was actually actual one big man. And this space is like pretty small. It's like probably a little bigger than your room, honestly, uh-huh. with like your room plus your living room, but like a divider like right there, like just together. Right. There was a band called Leeway from uh, an old an old thrash hardcore band from New York. Uh-huh. Uh, they came to play there, so that was pretty cool and stuff. So, and, oh, yeah. uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, Tell them about the time you got. No, no, no. no. I'll <laughs> say it. So I remember one time. I'm not, I'm not telling what band. I'm not, so no one can look it up for reference. If you know, you know. Which I'm, no one here knows, so I'm going to say it. I was at a show one time. And, you know, I was having fun, you know. It was getting rowdy. I was getting rowdy. I'm at the time 18, you know. I'm I'm still fresh out of high school. I'm a little, you know, a little thinner still, you know. I'm not fat or nothing now. You know, a little muscle now or something, whatever. Anywho. Okay. So, but I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a still a little scrawny guy. You know, I'm not fully with a doll yet. I'm still 18. That's still the teenage years. And, you know, I'm enjoying the show, having fun, right? And you forgot what band, I forgot what band it was. I'm not going to see the band either because I don't want people to look this shit up. But, um, fucking, um... <laughs> So it's on video too. I was in the pit and stuff, you know. Just doing my thing, doing my thing. And to be aware, the this guy was also getting rowdy too. So he's a bitch for this, honestly. And so I felt a hand or an arm, I would say, just like cup ch- go up my nuts between what? my legs. Like I felt that. So I'm like, what the fuck? So that other one fell. But I get picked. I start getting air. I'm like, what's going on? And I'm I'm sober too for this. Like by the way too. So like before y'all say, well you're probably high as fuck if you didn't understand. You didn't feel like, no, no, I you don't remember going, it. I remember this. Yeah. 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 And then fucking, um, yeah, I get picked up and I just get slammed. But like, it didn't really hurt. I was just confused. Like, what the hell happened? And it was by this like six, five white guy and, uh, an old friend of mine. This is my friend. He's a, he's a beefy little Mexican guy. He's shorter than me. He's like five, six, five, seven. He, he comes up and just socks that fool in the face. And that fool is like, he, yeah. that fool just got, just, he's, a, he's a bitch for it. Like, yeah. hey, pick up someone your own size. Yeah. So that's a reference. Don't fuck, hey, for yeah. reference, don't fuck with someone who's smaller than you because there's going to be someone bigger watching and they'll fuck you up. They're, they're able to crawl up your yeah. ass. Shout easy. out to that homie. I'm not going to, I'm not going <laughs> to, what the fuck? I'm not going to say his name though, but shout out to that homie because he got, a, he, he had my back and stuff. Oh, good. Yeah. There was, um, what else? I'm not gonna. I don't want to say anything else about the show because there's a lot of stuff that I don't want to say that I know you're gonna bring up. 
<laughs> there's a lot of stuff that I don't want to, but you know, I'm, I'm just going to say the stuff that I, that doesn't involve me really. I want to just let's see what else can I talk about. Oh, um, there's like I, I started about, a fight with me. Oh, this guy one. started fighting with you. Yeah, I don't know why. It was so strange. It was for was it during the slackers? I think it might have been during the slack. I went to, to see the slackers and <laughs> Scar Wars. I think this must have been like 2018. I was in the pit all by myself. All by myself. Uh -huh. Whatever. I didn't really have a lot of friends that I went to. I don't think I went to that show with a whole lot of friends. I was in there by myself. And then I think the pit just gets way too packed. And some big food just pushes us all one way. And like we all go that way because it's a big food. Yeah. And a bunch of us start falling like dominoes. And... I guess I start like pushing up against this, this is like couple, but I was not in control of that. Yeah. I was like, I'm so small. <laughs> and this guy like looks at me, he pushes through the people that he was directly pushed into. Like I wasn't directly pushed into the guy. He like pushes through them and he yells in my face. He goes, there's fucking women here. There's fucking women and kids here, you fucking bitch. What's up then? What's up? And I'm like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? He was trying to bite me. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Did you get a look at him? I don't know. He was like some he, short fool. He probably looked like a bitch probably. I, well, it was actually Alex Jones. He's I'm like, model off his ass. There. I was there. Out there. Uh, I, can't, I can't do the voice. Hey, out there. <laughs> yeah. Women and children. Yeah, I'll say this. So I just stopped going to shows because, man, I don't want to deal with fights and stuff. I'm going to come to Crossfire and shit. I've seen too many fights at shows. I mean, I remember yeah. the first one I saw, and I must have, because I don't want to talk about violence that much, honestly. Mm -hmm. You know, music should be something where everyone gets along, honestly, regardless. Yeah. You know, no, leave the hostility at home and stuff. But sadly, you know, the more it aggressive happens. music, I, that, that, you know, I tend to like more aggressive music sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not an aggressive person, but you know, I just it's just life. You well, feel I me? mean, it's, it's, it's cool stuff too. It's also a, a place to let yeah, a lot of that energy. But out. some people just let out to too much to an extent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. By so the what way. am I gonna? What am I gonna <laughs> talk about? I'll explain later. So I was say like I was 17. I went to my first like just like a first. It's an insane show. I'm not gonna say the fest either and stuff. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I was with a friend and stuff. And it's we, we see an older band. They're not from the 2000s. I I didn't bring, I didn't know about them until then stuff. But they're they're still cool. They're a cool band. They're called Hundred Demons. They're pretty uh -huh. cool. Um, yeah. So they played. There was a big fight there, and they take it outside. They just it's like it's like a Looney Tunes fight, like a cartoon fight. It's like a ball. Yeah, people. like the big cloud. Yeah, like a big cloud. <laughs> but it just starts moving gradually towards the exit. It was kind of funny. <laughs> so but then after the show, yo, I don't know if they got. I don't know if they did a piss this guy off so much. But yo, he was all bloody from the face. He looked like. His face got like peeled off. I was like, "What oh the my God. fuck?" I'm 17. <laughs> Where are you at the time. going, dude? I was, with a, I was with an old friend of mine. Who I, well, I hung out with the older friend. Who was much older than me. I'm not gonna say his name either. Okay. But I went, I went with that friend. You know, he, you know, at the time he he uh, it was, it was the first person that I met who like lost I like at the time. You right. Know? Yeah. Because I don't know. But now I wish that I knew less people who are the stuff I like now. Because you know, yeah, people that kind of suck. Except for me. Yeah, except for Lynn. Well, I mean, you <laughs> see, like, when you meet someone who's into what you are into, you're going to meet someone who's into you, or into what you're into, but to a, a another level, yeah. that is yeah. even more radical. They could, you know, they you, could have a different background and yeah. stuff. Yeah, well, you background. Got, you yeah. got to remember that, like, a lo the scene in L.A. especially, it's so big, but it's also very small. Yeah. That, that makes sense? Yeah. It's like yeah. a lot yeah. of people, but you go to, I mean, you go to shows, like, when I was younger, I was going to shows, like, every weekend. You know, that, mm -hmm. that was just the thing to do. You know, we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't go to clubs. We wouldn't really go dancing. We didn't have shit to do. We didn't have money. We just went to a backyard show, dude. Yeah, you I didn't know? go to backyard shows. I went to backyard shows. Well, suck to suck. No, but, I, uh, no, we've been to some. We've been to some. Oh, yeah, that was gone but, crazy. That was fun. You know, a lot, a lot of people, you know, it's, it's like the same thing. You know, there a lot of people want to start shit. Uh -huh. And they go to these shows because they know that they can. There's yeah. no security. You can... Do you can get away with a lot of shit there, and you know people are gonna have your back because you all know each other. So it's yeah. like it's like you know, it's a lot of sh it's a lot. Well, of and shit. and sometimes the the environment perpetuates that type of yeah. It, it depends. You know, like like we went to the backyard show over in Boyle Heights where a guy ended up having a seizure in the oh, middle of that the pit. Was crazy. You know, and and before that there were like. 
three to four fights yeah, already a, in like the pit. And, and for the for the for the for the red first, we, we took a friend of ours who hasn't been a backyard puncture before, and that was the first time there. I mean, they deal with the. I mean, luckily I didn't do a bullshit that day, but there was all there was all I, I bad vibes. Some, there was bullshit shit. there though. Someone so. threw a bottle at my head for no. <laughs> not in my head though. No, I'm kidding. I was having fun and stuff. I was. I was having a good time. I would say a little too, a little bit too. I don't know. I like going to shows, but sometimes you know. I don't know. According to Lynn, I get too violent. I get. I don't know. I have yeah, fun. Yeah, so let, let me just explain. So this man, this is what happens when we go to a show, right? So he'll say, I'm like, man, I'm so fucking excited, but like, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to chill in the back tonight. Fuck that. You know, I, I'm tired. You know, I just got off work. I'm just, I just want to want to deal with bullshit. And then what happens, Jacob? I sit my ass in the back now. No, you don't. No, you don't. You, <laughs> you get your ass in the pit and you're there all night. <laughs> all right. I don't want to watch shows no more. <laughs> No, but, but there was there was a time at Subhumans where I feel really bad for. We went to see the Subhumans, which I'm sure all of you know. I'm sure all of you. One know one person knows. No one it's knows you. This is a movie podcast. <laughs> well, anyways, Subhumans first free form conversation podcast. Amazing uh, anarcho punk. Get to the point. Hmm? Get to the point. Whatever. So this woman is really pissing me off because it's we were blessed enough to go to. To one where there was no barricade. Uh-huh. It's this old band, one of my favorite punk bands. We, I, there was no barricade. You can get up there and stage dive. You can mm-hmm. get up there and share the mic. Like how fucking cool! Yeah. So one of my favorite songs starts playing, and I rush my ass to the front. And there's a bunch of like old, older, much older people, like all white people, that just don't want to let me through. It's like they're the barricade police. Like, they the were the barricade. Yeah. I'm like, it's a punk show. There's no barricade. Let me get up on stage and sing. There were men getting up there, and this woman, like, literally blocked me. Yeah, some fat bitch. Hey, we don't say that. That's fucked up. We don't care. You say fat boomer. That's what no, you say. No, fat bitch. No. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I mean... Look, I'm a she was a fat, stupid, meth out white bitch from Ventura, I'm and she ain't getting paid. Wait, how do you know she's from Ventura? Oh, I was a Ventura, so I, I, I I'm, oh, I'm, you were, it was in Ventura. Yes, sir. I'm it was cold. Him, it was cold I'm as a, fuck out there. I'm gonna let him dig that hole because <laughs> it's off the rails. Might but whatever. The... <laughs> I was just mad. I mean, I didn't. I mean, I wasn't there to like say like, oh, you're this, you're that. Uh-huh. Hey, too fat, too thin, whatever. You know that song? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> If you know that song, it's a beautiful song. Go look up Too Fat. Too Fat to Fly? I've been both. Starring Kevin Smith. Anyways, I I get really upset and I start pushing through. I try to like push through to get on the Uh the stage and to try and like stay like like crowd surf kind of like like I'm jumping on people. Yeah. And um, it turns out Jacob was behind me the entire time. And he's like. Oh, why didn't you get so crazy? <laughs> I'm like, did I hit you? He's like, yeah, several times. Where'd you get hit? I don't know, I forgot. I don't know. That show was, I was just tired from, because I had my previous job before this job by then, and it, uh-huh. I was just tired. That day full, I worked nine hours, and then went to her. I didn't do shit at that show. I just stood in place, <laughs> and she had fun. I was watching. I was just too tired. I never yeah. was too tired for a show, but now I ain't tired anymore. But I want to just save my money and stuff. You know, I want to go to... I'm going to try to go to conventions now, probably, for Like, now. The, the anime convention? Yeah, because, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of people I want to see and stuff, but I don't know. Maybe I'll go to a show. Well, I'm going to show next month, honestly. <laughs> what I'm about. But, yeah, I don't want to go to shows constantly because, you know, I'm, I'm older than I was when I was younger. My body can't really... Mm-hmm. Fall. I mean, yeah, I'm only 23. Yeah. I've been going to shows since I was, I don't know, 60. I don't fucking know. It creeps 14. up on you. Yeah, it, it creeps up on you. It's yeah. a lot of stress in your body, so yeah. it's like, let me, take a, let me take a break, honestly, you know. Yeah. Let me give myself a break. I don't want a little bullshit. I just want to, you know... I want to buy me some new band merch and stuff rather than that. You what know. are you wearing right now? I'm wearing a Suffocation shirt. I got this off uh, Depop for $10. So that 20 cool years part. of brutal execution. Yeah, they were. Uh, it's their 20th anniversary shirt. Oh, okay. So I got it for 10 bucks. Damn, at a vintage place, you'd get that shit for 90 Oh, I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably flip it. Honestly, if I want to, you could probably go to the thrift stores around us. Yeah. And we usually flip it for like 100 grand probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, well, not even 100 grand. <laughs> probably for a good a uh, hundred. 100 probably. Yeah, yeah, 100 for They'll this. take it for 100. They'll take it for 100 because like, ooh, it's, it's vintage. Like this band isn't like, old. this band is 
way past being 20 years old now. Yeah, the vintage places around here are absolutely That's ridiculous. ridiculous. Like, yeah. Especially with any vintage clothes. If you go online, it pisses me off the most. Okay, yeah, some vintage merch is cool, mm -hmm. but it pisses me off when they sell for a high price, but there's fucking holes everywhere, and the holes aren't designed. <laughs> it's oh, unwearable at that point. There was one time I was on Depop, and I saw, I, I, I forgot what shirt it was. I, I don't know what band it was, but this man, it was like a 2XL shirt, mm -hmm. and he was selling it for the original original fucking price like 20 25 dollars it was a white t-shirt which was very clearly worn to a whole lot of musty dusty disgusting shows because it was all yellow in the pit area it had like a hu huge yellow stain oh my it had God. holes everywhere it was stretched the fuck out like this shirt has seen things that we should never <laughs> see and how much and was it? It was like twenty five dollars, but oh it was God. probably like the same price originally. Like most band shirts, go yeah. For See, that's not bad. I'm talking about like no, 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 Mister Sir. It was it was a modern band. It was not a vintage okay, shirt. It's 20, okay, it mind. was not a vintage shirt. I could find that shit online or at a show for the same price. Still twenty five dollars though. What the fuck? Yeah. I mean, this man was selling here the audacity to sell it for the same price, and it was all yellow and stuff. People are so stupid shit online, honestly. Like, comes I don't I don't fucking get fashion. I mean, I saw a whole thing about Balenciaga coming out with like a tote bag or something that's literally just a trash bag, literally. And that's a trash like, bag. So the designs, it's a tote bag, a bag you could wear, but it's designed like a trash bag. The straps are red, it's white, and it's like selling for like fifteen hundred dollars, I think. Really? Yeah, and people buy that shit. I don't, I don't get fashion because it'd be the stupidest shit. Like, look, that you shirt you have. You gotta make it look good, though. But you look, look, gotta look, make it look but good. But see, that shirt you got was like 20 bucks, right? Or yeah. there. Some bullshit that's like vintage, or not even vintage, newer, like some blank shit that they say just have the head of Spider-Man, like that's just the head on a pocket TV, like $50, $70. I mean, I'm not into those types of shirts nah. where it's like, it's minimalistic. Yeah, and, and I, the price is know, so high. If it's I, cheap, I'll see. If it's, sure, if it's cheap, but I'm not, even then, I'm just like, can we do something more interesting yeah. with the design, not just the, a little yeah. logo in a corner? The most I paid for a shirt, because it was a designer brand, but you know, it's probably pretty cheap. Shout out Brooklyn Projects, they have some cool designs. Uh -huh. I got, I mean, the most I'll pay for a shirt is 30 bucks, but if I go to a concert, if it's like tour stuff that's rare that you can get there, yeah. then yeah, I buy it. I pay, but it's going to be like, well, when we saw the Griselda show, which the, you yeah. saw the merch prices for that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess it's a pandemic, but damn. Yeah, it's crazy. Ridiculous stuff. prices. Crazy. Like, for a shirt, the cheapest shirt is 30 bucks, and they're selling shirts for 70, uh, long sleeves for 80, like, I'm pretty sure they had stuff for 400 there. No, no. I, I don't. I didn't take a, a, that deep a look at the prices. And those, I mean, if, I had, if, I think if it was pay week that day, if I got paid, maybe I would have bought a shirt, but I don't know. I mean, <laughs> not for $400. Not for $400. And I, I, I love, I love Bane no, the Butcher. No, not even at a. No, no. I love Bane the Butcher, man, but no, nah, man, you can't be charging that much for shirts, man. I mean, no. I get 50 for a vinyl and stuff. Yeah. Like, I get that, you know, but it's so odd. But, you know, he's a newer artist, but, you know. When you, but I must say, when you go to a small, a smaller show and you see these smaller bands, it helps always them. buy the merch. Like I would say, save your money, buy the merch. I don't buy the merch. They, <laughs> well, you. That's well, the thing. Their money. Well, that's also you don't know who's gonna get big and who's not gonna yeah. get big. One of their smaller shows is an earlier show for them, if especially if they get bigger. I went to early ish, knock loose, and bought a shirt, mm -hmm. and now they're huge. And now, like I remember my. Well, my good friend Andrew, shout out Andrew, was probably listening to this, listening to this at work. <laughs> um, Next he to was Jacob. Like, he messaged me not too long ago. He was like, yo, it took me so long to get into Knock Loose. Like, when are they playing? I want to go. And yeah. then I looked at what shows they're playing. Next, they're playing like stadium shows or like, who was it? With Suicide Boys and stuff. Yeah, with Suicide Boys. See, see you're lucky and stuff. So see, I couldn't go see Atlanta Knock Loose because my mom said I was too young to go to shows. But I'm, <laughs> Our, <laughs> uh, old, my oldest friend, my older friend at the time, he went there. He's like, "Yo, come!" And like, he got me knocked loose around like probably the early years. Yeah. I really wish I went to the earlier shows and stuff because oh, I, so I, I wish I did. I guess my work tour though that that was pretty yeah, cool. That was that was, cool. that was scary and stuff. I saw it was hot that day. I remember I was my my business. It started like just one note and then, like they were covering yeah. a bloodbath song, a death metal song uh -huh. by a band called Blood. But they're covering that and then I remember the pit opens up and then like I remember. It was up too quick, right? So, like, a whole, like, row of people just fall on top of me. So I'm smothered. <laughs> and then someone's, luckily, someone there pulled me out. So whoever that was, shout out. Someone shout pulled me out. out. Shout out to them because I was, like, damn, I'm suffocating that. I mean, that yeah. was They like, get dangerous, dude. I miss, get I miss dangerous. a tour. Shout out to War Tour, actually, because that really got me going Isn't to shows. Over? It's yeah. over, sadly. I remember I got to go during the 20th anniversary. That was my first, one of my first. That was the first show I went to by myself. I went to. I went with an old friend of mine named Shane. Uh -huh. Um. 
I was a little heavy set back then, so right. you know I'm not used to the heat. I get I throw up from the heat and stuff. I yeah. get kind of sickness. Yeah. So I decided to wear all black that day. I fucked up. You know I should have no, done man. that. That no. was terrible. I threw up like three times. Here's the thing: when you when it's hot in California, it's hot. You, you have to drink water. You have to drink you water. Have to drink some, especially if you go to one of these fucking. Because I went to Warp Tour one year. I don't know what year it was, but I went as well. Hot. Hot. And the lines Wait, are did, fucking crazy. Wait, who did you see? Do you remember? I saw Sum 41. Sum 41 was there. That was... Uh, that was 2017. 20, 2016. 2016. Was it? 2016. I believe I, it was, Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. saw, I saw Sum 41. Too. I missed Sum 41 to get water. That's how bad the line <laughs> and was. And that's fair. <laughs> that, that's that, fair. That, that, that was my sacrifice. Like, do I want to enjoy my concert? Like, I don't want to be dehydrated. I wanted to see Sum 41. I, I didn't get to see him, sadly. I took the L and bought the water because I wanted to see Sum 41 so bad. I, I just wanted to get my bottle. I brought in, like, this big-ass, like, one-liter bottle and stuff. Security was cool and stuff with it. They let me sneak it in. I brought that shit in, and uh, I filled that shit up. I was, like, the only person in water. You got to bring more than one, though. Yeah, but luckily, that shit, that shit kept me. A, a gallon, like, yeah. Warped Tour was cool and stuff, but if they, yeah, they I miss that stuff. Awesome. I miss... Oh, yes. I worked was pretty cool. I mean, the last one I went to was a. Uh, I went to. The, I think the last one because I. I just didn't. I don't know why I didn't go. I kind of regret it, but oh well. Where, where were they? This. Were they in Pomona? <laughs> it was Pomona. Oh, it, was Pomona. Hey, it used to be in Ventura too, but they got rid of that one. I heard the Ventura one was the best one because it was the beach and stuff. It was all cold and stuff. No, Aww, the Pomona one was uh, essentially a desert. Yeah, essentially know? a desert. I remember the Ventura one when I went the first year. The Ventura date they had Lincoln Park play there and stuff. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, remember that because I. Okay, so I used to go to Warped Tour with my dad every year. Mm-hmm. And I was, when I was still a kid, when I was still maybe like in high school, he would say, you can bring a friend. So I would bring, I brought Andrew one year, I brought Leslie, whatever. Uh-huh. And I was like, okay, well, which one should we go to? Should we drive to Ventura? Should we go to Pomona? He's like, that means I got to wake up earlier yeah. or we got to stay at a hotel and I got to drive. No, fuck that. Let's go to Pomona. I was like, <laughs> All right. And then P- Ventura was usually the day after Pomona. Mm-hmm. So we went home, whatever. We wake up. We're so happy. You know, the birds are chirping outside. Let's walk to her. And I saw Linkin Park was playing. That's my dad's like, mo- like one of my dad's favorite bands. And this motherfucker didn't get to see him because he wanted to go to Pomona. It was so sad. And my dad, from there on out, will all, like he always regretted it because he's like, they got to play like a stadium show like after, and it was super expensive. So my dad's like, oh, we'll catch him next time. Mm-hmm. And there was no next time, unfortunately. I was uh, fortunate enough when I was, uh, I think, eight or seven. My mom went to my first concert. It was actually Lincoln Park. So I got to see oh, wow. Chester Bennington in the flesh. So that was... That was no one forget. Like I still remember that like it was yesterday, man. Th- those like, are the middle school vibes, right there. Yeah, well, that, no, I was like eight or seven, bro, at the time. Like, oh, well, dude, maybe that was I'm old. thinking. Yeah, I don't know. It's still middle, middle school, school vibes, school. though. I mean, yeah, they, it's, it's, everyone. But that, 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 that really got me into like you know I want to start a band and stuff. His like mom that. is pretty based. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. That really changed my that that showed my mom that 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 pretty much changed my life. That's I would say. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I got to see in Mike. I can't pronounce his name, but uh, she she won box seats too at her work. Oh really? Yeah. So what the fuck. Damn. Yeah, this is a stable yeah, center too. Cool. She got to work, yeah. And she's like, I, it was for my brother. He's like, oh, I got a surprise. She's like, what is it? Like, oh, I got us to see Lincoln Park. And I was like, I freaked out because at the time, I loved Lincoln Park. Mm. You know, that all for her band stuff. I'm I'm happy enough to share the feeling with you yeah. when I got to see uh, uh, Paul McCartney. See, that's at, cool. At Dodger oh, that's Stadium. So fucking and then, cool. And then uh, what's his name? Uh, Ringo showed up. So I was like, cool. oh, was a little dance. He does. Yeah, the, <laughs> he, he, he he's announced over the mic. No autographs. Is <laughs> <laughs> it Ringo that does the like peace and love, love peace and love? love. They, they're like with peace and love. No, what did he no say? No autographs. Fan mail, no fan no mail. Fan mail. And it and will lo- be thrown away. <laughs> it will be, <laughs> it will be burned. Love. Peace and love. Did they play? Did they play songs up together? Did they play Beatles songs up together? Yeah. Okay, that's that, yeah. that's pretty. Yeah, cool. it was pretty. And I think uh, who else was that? I think. I think Billy Joel was also there. That's pretty I cool. I thought you were yeah. gonna say Pitbull for some reason. <laughs> yeah, man, but that Lincoln Park show was was amazing, man. They they, they they saw my spot, like, yo, how y'all doing up there? And like, I'm nine years old, and like, he we made direct eye contact, me and Mike, uh-huh. and like, I'm surprised, yo, I freaked out, bro. I screamed like a girl or something like that. I was like eight years old, yo, because like at the time, like, I'm eight years old, like that's a whole fucking like you know. When you're a kid, yeah. it's like yeah, that's crazy and stuff. It's 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 it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel real. Like you're getting noticed by like yeah. a band you really love a lot and stuff. Yeah. So that like that cha- that like 
and like I remember like yeah it doesn't feel like yeah. you know when you go to a show now as an adult you're like your life kind of sucks and then you've been looking forward <laughs> to this one show forever yeah. that was me with Touche Amore so uh, we saw Touche Amore or Touche Amore sorry because oh. I know one of you is going to correct this is the point god damn it Amore. whatever so you know you go and your life sucks and you're excited for this one thing and then you're there and you're like Oh shit! It's gonna end. Like, oh, I'm sad now. <laughs> what but the show or your life? The sh- well, <laughs> the show. I mean, the show. You know, you're like, man, this sucks. This one thing that I've been looking forward to that's been keeping me going is gonna end soon. When you're a kid, yeah, that shit doesn't exist. You're just so yeah. You're, like, you're just in it. I still cool. remember where where I was at when it was announced. I was at a Hurricane Harbor and stuff. And like when I was, was announced? when Chester Bennington died, yeah. Right, Hurricane Harbor. I was Hurricane Harbor. Mom <laughs> texted me. My mom texted me. And I was like, the whole day I was like, wow, today sucks. Like I was like, I I, I shed a tear because yeah. that that shit was crazy. That was awful. Yeah, it was awful. Oh, but, is, but, is he, but Hurricane Harbor is he from Lincoln Park? No, her, no, her, he was at, at her, Hurricane. I was at Hurricane Harbor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, no. was, he was like a nickname for <laughs> what else? Guys. Yeah. I was thinking it's either it's either a, like uh, Soak City or a there's not Soak City. City. <laughs> Honestly, like water parks are cool and they're stuff. Nasty. They're not as but, but when I got old, I was still I was still eighteen, and I got that. I got so at the grad night, I got to um, a ticket, a, a pass. I went to we had six flags. We had a Six Flags grad night there. And this other kid I knew, he didn't want to go. He's like, he's like, I don't want my ticket. I want to go to this shit. And like, can I have your ticket? He's like, yeah, go ahead. So I had two repasses. I took. God, it took me. Forgot it was a while ago. Uh-huh. But um, fucking, it was pretty cool. But like, I ruined the day. Honestly, here about just Baden passed away. But man, after I went to that, I thought like, I want to go back. It's kind of nasty here. Well, ever since the that boys episode with the deep at the water park. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we will no longer be touching water. I love the boys. That's such an amazing show. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the boys, especially uh, this past season. This past season is amazing. They hurt. I cannot wait a year for season four. They left off on a too much of a sticky note. I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to spoil nothing. Just watch that show. I don't want to spoil it for you either. But, I don't give a shit. But yo, <laughs> that show, Soldier Boy. I'll watch it and still enjoy it. Spoilers or not, that show is. Oh, okay. Hold on. You mentioned Soldier Boy. Are we going to go back to that ridiculous argument? Where you think that Soldier Boy beats Captain America? He, he, he can, yeah. No. We're not having this discussion. No. We're not having this discussion. No, we're not. No, we're not having it. No, it's not having it. Happened. We're not having it, though. I'm going to stay Soldier out. Boy has more power than the Captain America. We're not having no. it. No. See, it's a hot take. Captain I don't America. America. Everyone who does this is weak is my dick. hammer. What did he say? Wait, what did <laughs> you say? What was that last part? Everyone who disagrees with me <laughs> and talks shit can suck my dick. <laughs> All right. All right. Chill, fool. Yeah, okay. See, pussy. he opened Pandora's box now. See now, 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 now we're. I'm just continue. letting you know. I'm just letting you know. It's I'm not happening. Let's change I, the subject. I thought we were talking about you. No, soldier. <laughs> yeah, no, soldier yeah. boy is a. Uh, oh, oh, the soldier is, boy. But I don't know why. I mean, we we're talking about music before. I swear uh, to God, I don't know. Back why. to the. To the boys, I, I will say I did like how they do Soldier Boy in the show and then the book because in the yeah. book, he, well, I'm not asked. Well, well, the, I mean, the yeah. thing about the book is the book is is a uh, direct I, i'm not gonna say a satirization it's an attack on mainstream comics it's like def- yeah. marvel and dc it's it, some of it's well maybe the show more than the book is somewhat it's also a social commentary well, it is yeah. it's more social more commentary. of the show i would say in the book yeah, the book is exploitive the book the, is definitely exploitive. yeah yes. the, the the show i think improves upon that formula yeah of making fun of these characters and stuff, but also looking at society as a whole. That's why I'm surprised you're not uh, caught up, Lynn. Because yeah, I think you like it, a lot. It deals a lot with society, politics, society, and, yeah. You know, capitalism in, in America and everything. And celebrities and celebrity and, culture yeah. as well. Celebrities like, and politics. Yeah, I it, thought that it, was crazy. Really was it the first season we watched together? Yeah, the first episode where where the you know how, how it was rock. the first couple episodes I think that we watched together. I was, that shit was amazing. That shit is yeah. a good show. And and the second season I felt was a bit. Uh, not as good, but this third season, I think they really make up. Yeah. Especially because of the inclusion of this soldier boy mm-hmm. character who is a uh, Captain America uh, knockoff, essentially. You! <laughs> <laughs> but and he is up in this hoe. Yeah, no, he is He is in some ways worse than a Homelander. Yeah. But can he do the SpongeBob? Uh, no. You can kill SpongeBob, not. probably. I can do the SpongeBob. No. You cannot let the deep and bikini bottom. <laughs> Oh my god, that needs to be fan art. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, I'm I saw a meme. It. We went to Little Tokyo earlier and we saw a bunch of cursed, like, Spongebob, SpongeBob figures. figurines. They were really cool, though. They're like cat or rabbits? I don't even know. <laughs> Just like cute little Japanese animals. They really oh, cursed. okay. Yeah. They were really cursed. They were amazing. But they were cute, though. They were adorable. Oh, they were okay. Cursed. I was picturing oh, something nasty. 
Oh, what else? But yeah, the boys, the man. Idols. Yeah, the bo- the boys is a really good series, and I think it, I'm I'm excited for season four. As yeah, well. Carl Urban kills that shit. Yeah. It, well, Jensen Ackles was also really good as Soldier Boy. Oh yeah, he was really good. It's just so weird to see him from Supernatural to this because yeah. it's just so, it's a complete <laughs> character change. Yeah. Because one guy's playing paranormal stuff, who's clearly more smarter and stuff. Yeah. More, but then you got this pre- prehistoric dumbass and stuff. <laughs> I don't know this dumbass who's been frozen for years and stuff, who's super OP and just super yeah. scary. Like, and like his dumbassery just adds to the fear of his yeah. character, especially that one scene where uh, he uh, well that one scene where you know. Where he meets that, where he finds that one guy, the guy that could that puts Butcher in a, what you call it, in a, I guess a psychosis or like a. a oh, uh, the uh, he, he traps him in his memory. Yeah, that episode yeah. was probably my favorite of season yeah. three. But uh, man, that was a ruthless. The ending was ruthless. Oh yeah, it re- Lynn, you gotta catch. You up, gotta man. catch up. It was a ruthless. Catch Soldier up. Boy is a crazy I, villain. Yeah, Soldier lately, Boy is crazy. Lately, I've just been. I'll I'll go home, and I'll like. Put something on, you know, put on a show or a movie or something, and be like, all right, I'm gonna catch up. And then, I don't blame you though, because there's a lot of shows I want to watch. I'm tired. But they are, many. They, they are they, yeah. the thing with the boys, it, there's not a lot of episodes, but the, the I feel the length of the episodes sometimes make up for it. But as soon as you watch all of it, you're like, fuck. Well, it, it moves well. It, it moves, moves well. Move, like, it has a good pace to like it. Like each episode's like, I don't know, 50 minutes. Almost an hour. An hour yeah, yeah, an hour to almost, to almost an hour, basically. Beautiful. Yeah. And this, and this season in particular gets pretty. It, it takes chances in terms of, uh, like, there are animated sequences in it. Not talking about, like, Diabolical, the animated show, but, like, there are actual animated sequ- yeah. sequences in this new season. And they really get into Homelander, uh, you know, the Superman knockoff and, yeah. and how disturbed he is as an individual and everything. It's it's really, it's really It's good. more of a, like, a, like, I guess, like, like, it's more of, like, I feel a mental state at that I don't know what, what? Say. his who I am, Homeland? It more focuses on his mental state this season, yes. which I like, instead of yeah. him being all crazy and stuff. It's more like him. Yeah. You see his, like, more, he's getting, he, he, gets, he gets crazier yes. and more insane per episode. It starts from the second season where Starfire, di- Stormfire dies, and then yeah. he gets, he's just confused, and then you see him just get more into insanity, which I like. Yeah. And I think stars are really good. And uh, he, he, the thing is, he's, he's, I mean, it's obviously like a, a Trump. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. he's obviously thing. a Trump knockoff. Yeah. Especially in this season, like there are Homelander rallies. There's that meme and stuff. <laughs> There's that meme where, you know, like, have you guys seen the memes for the boys? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where he was like, oh, when you, oh, this is a really fucked up one. But when it's like, oh, when the first Mexican <laughs> got away with saying oh, the yeah. N word. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's looking around, it's smiling. Up, yeah, <laughs> that one's pretty funny. Which is so on, it's so on brand, I guess. But, but what's funny is, especially in the second season, they acknowledge a lot of the memes, like meme culture. Yeah, it, it, yeah. They have a lot of memes of Homelander they, showing up. They use uh, they 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 use they they show how much of an impact social media is on yeah. society. They, that's what that's why about yeah. the the season finale of the second episode and some newer stuff too, where they they implement how social how. How crazy of a tool a yeah. phone or social media is. Well, well, there's a there's an episode in season two where they have a guy like they show the direct consequences of being on your phone like all day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where it turns so the, Lynn, the premise is it's a guy who's listening to this Stormfront. Yeah. There's a character called Stormfront, and she has a lot of propaganda. She has a lot of rhetoric that that's mm. very She's much a Nazi. propaganda. She's a Nazi. Yeah. Spoiler. And what happens is uh, this guy, they show a guy in the opening of an episode and he wakes up each day watching her things on YouTube. Mm. You know, going down the rabbit hole. And then it he gets effed up to the point that he actually causes a shooting. Like oh. he's, a, he's he becomes a shooter. It was a hate crime too. It was a hate crime, yeah. So yeah. You know, they they get into all of it. It's all a really it. good show. I like how I like, I really do like how in the instance where the book is good, but it, it's an instance where I, I do like the restroom this. again. <laughs> Leave. It's your fault, okay. Julia. It's like that kombucha you gave me. Well, we would, <laughs> I would say that we could wrap it up soon, probably. Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, but we are. you know, before I would say I like what the fuck was I say? Um, fuck. Damn it. What about the boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like the show a lot. I like yeah, how it's really good. I just like how it's. Oh, it, you're talking about the comic. Oh, the comic book. Yeah. So the comic book is. Really different. I will say though, I like the Homelander in the book a little more to mm-hmm. an extent, due, due to just how much of a piece of shitty he is. He's just a great villain, and, yeah. And just show how much more shitty because in the in this in the book, 
He's also racist too, right? Which they don't show much. The Stormfront is also they don't show much. He's not racist in the in the freaking show, but it just shows mm. how much. Well, we get kind of. I mean, he you know I he, can't give jerk points. He, I don't like that he's racist for the record. I don't. No, no, no. no but no. it just adds to his character because you know he puts on such a facade that you know. Yeah. There's plenty of political figures, celebrities who are probably the same thing, same sick rhetoric and all that. Yeah, well, the, and a lot of virtue signaling as well. Yeah, when it very comes much. to their because what Homelander is obsessed with. Uh, he's obsessed with the appearance, yeah. you know, that he puts out there. You know, the the, the, the points sh- yeah. that he gets, the PR points, and everything, um, until the very end, where you know you see what happens. He yeah. like, kill, execute someone in public, and everyone cheers for him. It's insane. It's insane. I think my favorite scene from the book is, is when they. Um, when they raid before they, they before all the soups go to DC and stuff, yeah. where Homelander, I forgot they're at like an event, and he takes a family in a car and stuff. Oh yeah, there. yeah, that scene was fucked up, but it was a really good scene though. Yeah, where he just starts ranting about how the world's all fucked up, his stupid like fucking <laughs> I don't know manifesto about taking the world and shit. But then he just <laughs> drops the family, kids, and car. Like, oh, that, that that was brutal. Well, the the yeah. book is definitely more steeped in yeah. cynicism. And the show is as well, but it's the not, book. The, the book is to another level, and I think the show has more of a, an it has an underlying aspect of optimism. Yeah, v- very deep underneath, um, mainly be- through the the characters of Starlight and Huey. Yeah, you know, I, Huey, he was a good character. I like I, really yeah, well. I like Huey a lot mainly because he he tries not to. I mean, even though in this past season. He deals with a lot of his difficult. So then he's trying to figure out what, what he could do to help yeah, himself. Yeah, and he and becomes addicted to the the, the, v, and the v and, v and v. stuff. But then he realizes, oh, I don't want to do this shit no more. Yeah, yeah, especially when he learns it can be fatal. And he gets bitch slapped by home by, by home by, by, uh, by soldier, soldier boy. boy. <laughs> yeah, man, I feel like you're hurt. Yeah, no, it, it's I, I'm really liking it. Um, the fourth season I hope is the end. Because yeah. they don't want to drag this. I don't want them to. Drag I'm just out. waiting for Invincible season two, and then yeah, I forgot who play, who's the guy who plays Glenn and stuff in, in uh, what in Walking Dead the. Oh, uh, n- n- Glenn, um, shit. Oh, shit. Glenn, the Asian Yeah, the Asian guy, guy yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, What is Stephen Ewan. Stephen so, Ewan. I sent this article, but he said there could be a tie-in to the boys. And, uh, don't quote me on this, too. Like, I, I, I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know how they're going to do it. Unless they do alternate reality. Or Diabolical Season 2. Yeah. I, I would prefer that than them actually being the main continuity of the actual show. Because no. that wouldn't make sense, honestly. Well, they, they, they have a history of crossing over yeah, Invincible with other characters. Like, yeah. they did an Invincible... Spider-Man crossover. And Spawn, right? And, and Spawn, Spawn yeah. yeah. So they, but they did that through uh, multiple or alternate reality. And that was like that was just side stories too, right? That yeah, wasn't, they okay. were they were just tie-in issues. They weren't. Really yeah, like, I really like Invincible a lot. It's yeah. a really good series. I really hope they do make a season two a lot. That that was a really good. That was probably they will. They will. But hey, they're taking it. Uh, it's going to take time, probably. Of course. Each episode's an hour long. That's yeah. an hour animation. It has to. It's, I don't even mean, it seems like those shows are the forefront of Amazon or anything outside of Marvel, DC, mm-hmm. that those two shows get compared a lot to a lot. I mean, mm-hmm. they do have a lot of similar themes to it, yeah. like Omni-Man, Homelander. I would say Omni-Man's... He, he would destroy oh, Homelander. Oh, easily. Omni-Man would destroy Omni-Man Homelander. Would destroy Homelander. Yeah. No, no, no competition. <laughs> yeah, Omni-Man, but it seems they have different... I'm shaking my head in agreement. They have, yes, yes. They have different rhetoric, so uh-huh. it seems that Omni-Man yeah. wants just just destroy humanity, mm-hmm. where Homelander wants just be... I don't know what he wants. He's well, he wants to be loved by everybody. He wants to love everybody. So he... Homelander appreciates mankind, but... To, to, an man, to an extent, but Omni yeah. Man's like, oh fuck all, fuck all humans. Yeah, no, it's, it's done. He is a destroy world. He's the stuff. Terminator. He's a great. They, yeah. He's a great villain. I, I love Omni Man. I yeah. wonder if there's a BuzzFeed quiz that tells you if you're either Omni Man or Homelander. Oh, there must be either Omni Man, <laughs> Homelander, <laughs> Superman, or Goku. What are you? Superman would destroy like, all of them. No, no, no. Superman message. would beat them all. No, I'm gonna have this. I think Goku would beat Superman. It's because you're uneducated. No, I'm uneducated. <laughs> you're educated, bro. <laughs> anyway, wrap, as long as there up. is a sun. No, no, we are about to no, wrap it no, up, no. But as long as there is a sun, he wins. As long as there's sun and energy from the earth, the Goku's gonna win, bitch. The spirit bomb, we'll, bitch. We'll see. We'll see. Anywho, we'll see. This is this, this is, is the end, the right? end of the podcast. All right. I'm I Jacob. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you want, I know you want to get out of here. We're <laughs> gonna get out of here. Lynn, <laughs> thank you for coming on. Thank you for uh, thank you for having us. Of course. Me. No, I'm. Yeah, shout out to Angel too. <laughs> it was Just fun. Kidding. Shout shout out to everyone. Shout out. Uh, and by the way. Um, I don't know who's going to be on the next one. If it's Sebastian, I, I can't drink with him. <laughs> I'll start slurring. I'll slur all my words and everything. It won't be good. I was going to get a white claw or something for today, but no, I was please. just like, Before no. we go. Yeah. Freddie Gibbs and Bane the Butcher Girl squash the beef. <laughs>
my shit. <laughs> okay, well, on that word of optimism and wisdom, thank you for listening. I hope you guys have a good day. Go ahead. Goku would beat Superman. All right, thank you. Lynn, do you want to you wanna contradict him? Um, Shush. There's, there's pizza. Okay, um, good. Let's get the hell out of here then. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. Have a good one. Stay bye. safe. Bye. And, and if, if, if Jacob said anything that was offensive, <laughs> it will be edited out. <laughs> it will be edited out. Oh my god, don't out. say that. Okay. And it was not me. Shut up. I do not condone his. Okay, words. we get the point. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>